Okay, I have a question. My mic is not working. I have to ask here. I, I understand in the JV program, we assigned the property to your fund. Do we maintain any equity in the building afterwards or we are basically wholesaling? Uh, wholesaling is, 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 um, is totally different. Wholesaling, you just find a list of buyers, you assign to one of them, walk away with some money. You are, if you will, assigning it just like wholesaling houses, but it's a package deal because we're not, you're not wholesaling an, an empty property. You're wholesaling a package for me. That's why we pay a lot of money for these. We pay 10% on the upside. You get the property at, let's say, uh, 600,000 under contract. We line up a tenant that you have called and we discuss with them the LOI, I'm with you on the call. And we negotiate something that makes the property worth a million just based on that tenant coming in. That 400,000 upside, you get paid 10% for literally making phone calls. That's $40,000. And if we get them to sign 15 years lease, which is now not a big problem because they want to grow and they want to cut out the competition. So we do 15 year leases, you get 25% of the upside. That's $100,000 assignment fee. But wholesaling is you got a property below market comps. That's why it's in residential. It's all based on comps. And then you flip it to somebody else. You literally assign it. In commercial, you get it, you package it, and then you can assign it to me and you're under no obligation to assign it to me. You can go get a hard money loan or you can assign it to somebody else. I'm just a sure thing. I give you the training, the proof of fund, the tenants, I negotiate the deal, et cetera. So that's what I'm hoping is you assign it to me. And so far people have been pretty loyal on these. So after the first couple deals that you do and you make some money, I'm hoping you can do your own deals, which is what most people do. Okay, so there is always that dilemma. Should I look in my own backyard or should I look elsewhere? People in California tell me, oh, the numbers work better in the Midwest. People in the Midwest tell me, oh my God, there is so much more demand in California. The answer is always try to look in your own backyard first. There is actually a little booklet called Acres of Diamond about this guy. It's a true story that he had a big land and a small house and left all this, sold it to go find diamond and mine for diamond somewhere else. At the end, found out that his land that he sold it had diamonds in the backyard. I mean, your own market is the priority because it's a lot easier to work something that you can drive to, you can look. The more you see, the less mistakes you will make. The more you see, the better you're going to supervise. The word supervision has to do with two words, supervision. You have to see to supervise. You have to see to know and predict. So if you're going to invest in a distance, the type of property has to be different. And I'll tell you which one. And number two, you have to have a team. So for example, for me, I don't mind doing triple net buildings, those standalone buildings where you have Kentucky Fried Chicken, Jack in the Box and all this. I can own them anywhere in the country. I can frankly own them anywhere in the world because once you have the tenant and they sign 10, 15 or 20 year lease, there's nothing to manage. There's nothing, there's no marketing. They're in and they're paying you the rent plus tax, insurance and maintenance. So I do those anywhere in the country and actually I don't even need an accountant. It's very simple. Is my payment, is my income. It's a net income. <laughs> Even when you sell them, they make a decision within the same day. There is no like analysis, like an apartment building, storage facilities, hospitals, etc. So, but if you're going to go buy an apartment building or like this person is buying storage facilities, you have marketing, you have management, you have to worry about what they're storing in there. You have to worry about local laws when you're going to evict them, when you're going to actually, you have defaults, etc. So, so you have to have a good team. And once you rely on others, it's getting a little bit out of control a bit. So you have to have systems in place. You have to have uh, uh, separate layers of communications. Otherwise, you're going to find out that you're buying assets that give you more responsibilities and duties instead of buying assets that give you freedom. And the end goal is simplicity. The end goal is freedom. So focus on the type of assets in your backyard that make your life easier. If you want to expand, you already have the formula in your backyard. You can expand based on a business model.